Blood! 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 Yes. It is I, William Dermot Johnson, with an insight into the dilemma posed by Ray Dice Diary. Is it worth it learning other systems? Or should we stick to what we know? Because that means we can turn out kick ass games. Well, I feel it is worth occasionally jumping down the rabbit hole of a different game system. And it might take more than one game, but eventually you're going to have that eureka moment. Well, hopefully not an actual eureka, eureka moment, because that might shock your players. After all, jumping off, throwing off your clothes and running out into the road going, Eureka! With nothing on! Could scare people. Just a warning. But, once you have your that Eureka in the moment of the game, when you realise what the game is all about, that Dragon Quest is all about cooperation, Paranoia is all about playing the bad game, Vampire is a game about how you lose, and so that is why failure is baked into the system, into the actual mechanics. Once you realise what the game is about, what the game is doing, you sort of gain... It's like looking at a picture and suddenly realising what the hell the artist was thinking when they did that. Well, well that's a sort of a blobby, inky, blobby thing. Until you realise, OK, that's what depression looks like. OK, I realise it. I have been enlightened. And that, of course, is the point of art, the point of any artistic endeavour, which RPGs are one, is that moment of enlightenment, when you suddenly realise what the thing is all about. And it is for that alone that I would encourage that every once in a while, take a break from what you know, what you are good at, what you have your Sith mastery in, and go and delve and find out what is this other game about? Because the answer may enlighten you. Thank you. That has been William Dimmick Johnson. And of course, I always look for the blood as well.